This is Twit. We have the Vivaldi Project's take on the uh, flock. Uh, I, don't, I guess maybe it's you could call it a controversy. It certainly has been picked up in the news a lot. Um, and predictably, the Chromium-based privacy-oriented web browser forks uh, are all up in arms over this proposal. Um, and even the DuckDuckGo search site says they'll be adding uh, flock blocker headers to prevent visits to their search engine from registering in Chrome's flock aggregation. So it's like, yeah, okay. Uh, but in the case of the Vivaldi Browser Project, their posting last Tuesday was titled, No, Google, Vivaldi users will not get flocked. And of course, again, another reason why this is just the worst acronym <laughs> or abbreviation. Oh, it just begs for that, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. It's just yeah. like, you know, don't flock me and yeah. oh my God. Didn't they it, think you know, about flock that? no or oh. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. So, you know, we can all guess how Vivaldi would be feeling about this. Um, and I want to share the intro of their posting now. And But one of the points it makes later we need to address because it's, and this was my original title for the podcast, uh, Google calls this sensitivity of cohorts, which uh, is is like the, the technical term. But I thought homogeneity was, you know, more fun. So... Um, so, so here's Vivaldi. They said, old habits die hard. Google's new data harvesting feature is nasty. Called Flock, the federated learning of cohorts, this new advertising technology intends to replace third-party cookies and related technologies like third-party local storage. This clearly is a dangerous step that harms user privacy. Currently, it's being trialed in Google Chrome and is a part of the Chromium browser engine. Now, the real question, what is Vivaldi's position on this new technology by Google? I think I must have skipped the, uh, the title of, <laughs> of theirs. Oh, yeah, I have it in, in a link above. Oh, yeah, it, right. No Google Vivaldi users will not get flocked, so we can imagine what Vivaldi's position is. They said, this is a valid question as we are based on Chromium. But the truth is that while we rely on the Chromium engine to render pages correctly, this is where Vivaldi's similarities with Chrome and other Chromium-based browsers end. Although I did see a heading, a headline, and I did not get a chance to pursue it, and it, was, it just came out, I think, that apparently Microsoft has also said, eh, we may not be enabling Flock at least initially. No, they, anyway, I didn't get a chance. An edge. It's not an I Opera, yeah. Vivaldi, or Edge. None of the right. none of the Chrome uh, Chromium users. Offshoots, right? So they said, "Flock off." Of course, uh, Vivaldi does, does not support Flock. They said, at Vivaldi, we stand up for the privacy rights of our users. We do not approve tracking and profiling in any disguise. We certainly would not allow our products to build up local tracking and profiling uh, profiles. To us, the word privacy means actual privacy. We do not twist it into being the opposite. We do not even observe how you use our products our privacy policy is simple and clear. We do not want to track you. Flock, and they call it a privacy-invasive tracking technology, they said, Google will continue to build profiles and track users in the absence of third-party cookies and local storage. It presents Flock as a part of a set of so-called privacy technologies, but let's remove the pretense here Flock is a privacy-invasive tracking technology. So they said, does Flock work in Vivaldi? The Flock experiment does not work in Vivaldi. It relies on some hidden settings that are not enabled in Vivaldi. The Flock component in Chrome needs to call Google's servers to check if it can function since Google is only enabling it in parts of the world that are not covered by Europe's GDPR. It seems there is still some discussion as to whether Flock could even be legal 
under the GDPR regulations, we will continue to follow this closely. And, and okay, now that's really not fair. Uh, in the trial, Google does have a bunch of Google Chrome syncing stuff that is going on, which is the which is part of the trial mechanism, but that's really separate from from Flock. So it's like okay, fine. Anyway, they 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 finish what the part that I'm going to quote at the beginning, saying although Vivaldi uses the Chromium engine, we modify the engine in many ways to keep the good parts, but make it safe for users. We do not allow Vivaldi to make that sort of call to Google. We will not support the Flock API and plan to disable it, no matter how it is implemented. It does not protect privacy, and it certainly is not beneficial to users to unwittingly give away their privacy for the financial gain of Google. Okay, so message received. The Vivaldi folks are not, flan not fans of Flock. Um, you know, just just like you know, one more uh, piece of the of the uh, internet uh, checking in on how they feel about this, and and I don't have a sense for how committed to this Google is, but as we'll see, because I'm going to quote them, they're a little bit of their background philosophy and sentiment. You know, they really do get it that cookies are on the way out. And that traditional tracking is endangered. And, you know, we know that we have Google, they would argue, because of the revenue generated by advertising. Uh, and I actually do have some stats that they also quote about the, the amplification factor of revenue as a consequence of personalization, which is always I've been always been a little bit fuzzy about. But anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. 